Wow. Wow, Lord God have mercy. We will appreciate our own here. We will make use of this platform to appreciate our own, to propagate our own, to project our own. Exactly what we do with the very platform we have. Every little opportunity we have, we will do that. We will project ours. We propagate our agenda. We will make sure the world hears us. We will make sure the world hears us. Trust me, Aya, we will push it out there, push it down the truth of everybody. Even if you don't want to listen, you will listen. Let's talk about this great man, Kowansa. I wish he held a position, a public position, a position to impact. If these people were politicians, you would have seen a lot of difference. But I don't know whether to say fortunately or unfortunately, they are not politicians. But you see a lot of impact. But we see medical practitioners who make a lot of impact. They go into politics and they don't impact anymore. You don't see their impact any longer. I don't know what actually is in there. What is in there, I don't know. But you read about this man and you wonder. You wonder, you ask yourself. If a single man, one man, can pave all of these ways, can actually make this impact. Collectively, what are our politicians doing? What are our political system, the political structure, and those running the political structure, what are they doing? Single man. You go to Bisa Abrewa. How many politicians have the vision to do what they did at the Bisa Abrewa Museum? Go to Bisa Abrewa Museum. You know, when you drive around, drive along the second D road, run past the, 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 uh, the uh, what's the name? The new pot, the new pot around the second D road, drive past, just drive around like you're going to the hospital, the regional hospital, the Fion County Regional Hospital. There's just a runabout, there. I don't know whether to call it a runabout. But there's a wide junction or, you know, a junction there that takes you to the, uh, that takes you to the beach road, the second D beach road, and the one to the Adenba road. You see a museum there, a museum there, beautiful deep museum, beautiful edifice down there. Built by this man in honor of his own legacy even before he goes. He's still alive. I met him there when I went there for a program. I met him. We shook hands. We had a little chat. I tried bringing him on this show, but you know he's old and strength is failing him. But we have a date. We've actually managed to book a date. Anytime he's in town, we will visit him and then grant him an interview in his residence and then make sure we come here and play it. Kawansan, let's talk about him. He was born in 1941. Originally born Kwao Pentel Ansa. Kwao Pentel Ansa. Popularly known as the TV Africa Man. Many of you refer to him as the TV Africa Man, the TV Africa Man. He founded TV Africa. He brought TV Africa. I don't know what he shares. I, I don't know what his position is now in TV Africa. I don't know, but he brought TV Africa. He founded TV Africa. It is under his auspices on his labs TV Africa came to be. So many people refer to him as the TV Africa man. I'm talking about Kau Ansa, Kau Pencil Ansa, born in 1941. He is a Ghanaian filmmaker whose work as a writer, director, or producer includes Love Brood in the African Pots, which was produced in 1980. He has the heritage of Africa, which was produced in 1989. He produces with time. He makes time, he makes sure he soaks in some time, he takes his time to produce. So check out the interval. His first production, Love Brood in the African Pot, was produced in 1980. He never produced until 1989. Today, young people are in a rush, in a haste. We follow, follow, we follow the crowd. Even when he doesn't have the inspiration, he's forcing the inspiration. He wants to churn out a movie every year. He wants to do it every month. He wants to do it every whatever. So he doesn't pay attention to the energy. He doesn't pay attention to inspiration. Whether he has inspiration or not, once the timeline is down, he goes out, he produces whether it's good or not, he drops it out there. These people had class. 
they had class and they listened to their intuition, they paid attention to their conscience and they listened to their inspiration, they paid attention to inspiration. They never rushed it and they made impact with their productions. So after the first one, the loud brewed in the African pot in the 1980, he waited nine years after, nine years after to produce his second one, his second production, Heritage Africa, 1989. His first feature, loud brewed, love brewed in the African pot, earned him an immediate popularity, immediate popularity and critical acclaim throughout English-speaking Africa. Almost all the English-speaking African countries heard about him, got to know about him because of his love brewed in the African pot production. So you go to countries like Nigeria, they knew him, they respected him, they actually, you know, revered him because of the production. You go to a lot of the English-speaking countries, the Kenya, you know, they know him, they love him, they revere him, you know, South Africa, you go down to Zimbabwe, they loved him with passion. Because of the love brewed in the African pot, he earned him an immediate popularity, a critical acclaim throughout English-speaking Africa. Despite all the awards and successes, and the successes, it, will, it would be nearly 10 years before Ansa could complete his next project film, his next film project. After the first one in the 1980, he got a lot of awards and recognition, a lot of success chalked. But he didn't rush. He didn't allow that to get to, into his head. He relaxed. He allowed time to make use of him. He allowed inspiration to push him into another production. Since then, Ansa produced other films, including Harvest at 70. He produced that in the 1994. He produced Crossroads of People, Crossroads of Trade in 1994. And then the Golden Stool, yes, the soul of the Ashantis, the Ashantis, he produced that in the year 2000. So between 1994 and 2000, he produced another one. He rested and produced another one in 2000. Six years. Ansa is a crusader of African filmmaking and dramatic arts, working ceaselessly for improved funding and distribution of African films within Africa. He has been chairman of the E. I mean, of the FEPACI and a leader of the director of EFEP, FESP, ASO, FESPACO. He happens to be the leader and in that particular direction. In 1998, Ansa was awarded the ACRAC prize the ACRAC prize the living legend award for distribution of i mean the distribution to the arts of ghana he was given the award the ACRAC award prize the ACRAC prize the living legend award for contribution to the arts of ghana like i told you he was born in 1941 he was born in aguna suedro suedro hands up hands up hands up Whoever is from Sodro, hands in the air. We now go use no F word panda stereo. But whoever is from Sodro, whoever was born in Sodro, if you are from Sodro, hands in the air. Nay, then Nancy, dear, nay, dead, dear, lad, God have mercy. In Sampania, do Dabi. Nay, then Nancy, no, dear, Dabi, Mudru, Imudru. Wound to me, Kai Mudru. But who was ever born in Swedro hands in the He was born in Aguna Swedro in 1941. Ghana, Aguna Swedro, ah, at that time, 1941. That was a typical village, typical village. Today people look at where they are born and they go like, I made a moon to me, baby, I a woman you dear. Hey, I made a moon to me, born die there, die there, born there, die there, born there, die there. And they make that statement with pride. I made the army the bond die die there, but here die here. Bond die die there, I made the high yo. I mean, I mean, I mean, come here, I mean, that you, I made the high yo. Yeah, we are here now. Me here then ye ye, me here then ye ye. We hear statements like that, you know. You hear that, right? You hear that. Bond die die there, but here die here. You hear those those statements, and people make those statements with pride, you know, with a lot of pride. They feel where they are born. 
It's a disadvantage to them and they can never make it. Their dreams are irrelevant because of where they are born. He was born in Aguna Suedro in 1941. Now Aguna Suedro and the is saying in 1941. And Aguna Suedro is saying in 1941. But that was when he, where he was born. He did not say born there, die there, born here, die here. He did not say that. His mother was a trader. Not on turn no man kitin 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 a trader, you know Didja, you know. Obi se me mami Didja anti me den ya crachi ni dabi. Ben Jimmy, sorry. Sometimes we just have to put it out there like that. That's how it strikes, you know. It strikes them, it strikes their chord, and they go like, hey, what want me? No crane sign it here, dabi menya 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 sa. Somebody says so. Me mami ton to so jum na me den ye ni me den ye doctor ni me den ye journalist. Da me mami ton to so jum den na me den ye den. His mother was a trader. Then or not ton trader be a trader or ton ton ni oma. But you know he was lucky to have a father who was a trained photographer, and that's why we learn. We tell you learn the trade of your parents, even if you don't have the dream to continue. Jesus Christ's father was a carpenter. He knew he wasn't built to be a carpenter. He was a preacher, a messenger of the Almighty God. He knew he would be doing the work of God. But Jesus Christ still learned carpentry. Today, ne papa electrician. On office say juma no dabi on kokrofu juma ah. Na me de electrician de mi kwa ya de in dabi ah dabi. Ame de you know no a bobi bi kesi bit enya boni dream big, but learn the trade of your family. It's called family business. Learn it. Have it at your fingertips. His father was a photographer as well as a painter, musician, and dramatist. I mean, dramatist. No, but drums. So, pa, 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 pa. And their drummers. Mubu, anu, mubu, atu, perfum. And their drummers. Eh, wo, yon, sorry, sorry, them. Oh, but drums, no, bu, atu, pa. Hey, Spanky, you play drums. Spanky, do, do you do that when you play drums? No, if Spanky plays the keyboard. It is Macaul that plays the drum. Macaul, you over here. Spanky plays keyboard. It is Macaul that plays the drums in the church. Spanky, tell me if Macaul boosts her to power when he plays the drum because a net drum is a maba. Or botching in the bot drums, no, 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 his father was a dramatist. He, he never, he didn't add that to the craft. He was just, a, he played the drums. He was a musician. He was a painter. He was a trained professional photographer. And he learned the photography and that will help him propel him into what he is today. Upapaya Kapenta Kwa Bujuma no Nelswebi. So Upapaya Yi Dem Kwa No Ye Kwa Swebi. Driver Ni Swebi. Oh, wow, wow, dreams, but swebi, you know, swebi. It is a legacy you must, you know, have at your fingertips. So he learned the photography from his father. He said, yo, I will learn this from my father. So after his initial schooling at the Anglican Mission School, and sustained it for his old level in the capital city of Accra, while working at a textile, while working as a textile designer at the United Africa Company. So the papa was a painter and a photographer. And then if you become a designer of a textile company, then that should be a treat from the painting he got from his father. So he was a designer, a textile designer at the United Africa Company, and then he earned something small to support himself. Uh, oh, you know, learn that trade. That family trade, learn it. Men bune ni mtia, men kasa ode we ni ati sing with family business no ne o juma na o papa ya no ode we ni ati sing say juma no. Na me dem be de juma me be say juma e dem me de e me de no jai ga ga no. It might be the stepping stone for you to reach your, you know. And that is the story of Kau Ansa. It is the profession of his father which he excelled in that propelled him to become what he is today. He has expressed enormous gratitude for his success and development as a filmmaker to his father. Oh, he says, I give the gratitude of my, for my success and development as a filmmaker to my father. Who wanted me to engage? Who wanted to engage me in his own trade of photography? 
o ko twa photos na no atwe no kwa Brian kwa na kwa de chire ne ne papa fe no kwa asime si Brian kwa no asno bo no ma ma ho down i'm the mom down mom down you know he has expressed enormous gratitude for his success and development as a filmmaker to his father who wanted him to engage in his own trade of photography However, the young Ansa, having discovered his talent for drawing and painting, had other options. But he still learned his father's street. He still learned his father's street. From 1961 to 1963, he was enrolled in London's Regent Street Polytechnic, where he obtained a diploma in theater design. Following his education in England, he studied in the USA, US, graduating from the American Academy of Dramatic Arts and then American Music and Drama Academy from 1963 to 1965. His first theater play, the adaption was produced off-Broadway, off-Broadway in 1964. Upon his return to Ghana in 1965, Ansa founded, Ansa found commercial work. He found commercial work in both film and television. He worked for two years as a, produce, as a pro production assistant and set design for the Ghana Film Industry Corporation and also made commercials for Lentas Advertising Agency in Accra. He was the set design for the very popular film I Told You So in 1970. I told you so. And it was the first ever movie produced in West Africa. I told you so. That time, Nigeria for the movie yet. No money, no share. No movie, no money yet. Chinedu. I'm that time, Nigeria. We didn't have a movie. You didn't even know how to produce movies. Ghana. We started this with I told you so and the likes. And this man was part of the I told you so production. He was the set designer. Set designer for I told you so. Produced in the 1970s. And so went on to found his own advertising film, Target Advertising Services, in 1973. He continues to do commercial advertising work. His company is now called Target Sachi and Sachi Limited, which he says pays the bills. He says that company pays the bills for him. One of his television commercials won him a New York-based Clio, that's C L I O award in 1989. One of his television commercials won him a UK, a New York based award in 1989. Along with, he, along with his commercial work, Ansa continued his engagement with the world of theater and arts. Soon after his return to Ghana, he became an executive member of the Ghana Drama Association and the Ghana Association of Writers and an Officer of the Film Guild of Ghana. His play, Mother's Tears, was produced at the drama studio in Accra in 1967 and was instantly, it was an instant success. It was instantly successful. It was later, later reproduced, re actually, you know, packaged uh, at the Accra Art Center in 1973, 1991, and at the National Theater in 1995. Kwao Ansa is the man we put on perspective, is the man we have a, I mean, a spotlight on in this edition. The man behind the love brood in the African pots, Heritage Africa, crossroads of people, crossroads of trade. The man known for the Harvest at 17, produced in 1994. He's known for the Golden Stool, the soul of the Asantis, produced in the year 2000. The man is known for the good old days, The Love of AA, produced in 2010. He's known for the good old days, Papa Lassisi, Good Bicycle, Papa Lassisi, Good Bicycle, produced in 2011. He's known for the good old days, Suffering of Loss, produced in 2012. He's known for Praising the Lord Plus One, produced in 2013. He is still relevant and making impacts. Very influential, very impactful, especially here, you know, on the people of the Western region. He has Bisa Abrewa here. He didn't build it in Aguna Sodro where he was born. He had the inspiration to bring it down here to the Western region and it was built here in the Western region. If you have a tourist who is looking for a museum, 
I refer you to Bisa Abriwa Museum here in Takrade. One of the legacies of Kawansa. Visit Bisa Abriwa one of these days and trust me, Aya. You have a feel of Africa. A very good morning to Penny Sedis. Sir Edis, good morning, my very good bedroom. Look for Sir Edis and then you go down there and have a view of Africanism. Have a view of some African legacy. Kwao Ansa is his name. He is a legend. And as long as I live, I am here with a platform, with a voice and a microphone. We honor him. We put some respect on his legacy. We won't wait till he dies before. No, man. He is a legend.